Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown you that how we will check for beam and column. Now, I am going for shadow design. In this video, I will show you that how we will design our shadow. So, if you are new here, you can watch our previous video. This is lecture 12 and uh, also they have a github tutorial reel from basic to advanced level you can watch that and i think in this video you'll be able to know that how will design share all so let's start First of all, I'll open our previous model and here is our previous model. From here I will hide our everything except Cheryl. So I'll go here, select from here, select and object type here wall. press here show selected object only so here we are seeing that selected object only but here one thing we are seeing that it's also showing our str that's why we'll select here all story then select that select that and also select that after that click here hide selected object so we have we have hide our everything except our share all now we can also select click here to hide our grid so here is a share all i will unlock that our model so from here i'll right, right click here and one thing i will show here we are seeing that pair number are given here pair number are given pair number they have auto selection pair number in our previous video i have shown you that how will select that but obviously you have to confirm that before design for every share all they have a pair number so if they have no pair number then it will not design So now we'll go for design. So for design, we have to go here, define section properties, then wall section. After that, modify, and from here. We have to see select partition wall name okay sp uh, property type it specified then wall material okay no need that then here from here national size data okay after that from here modeling type from here we have to select this is the important thing modeling type so from here we have to select layered when we will select layered our wall material and that's one will be not applicable after that we have to go here here modify layered wall data here then we have to go here after that we'll go here you're seeing that there have no data then we have to go here quick start then parametric quick start so after that we have to 
put our data here so here it's showing that our bar size are in number of bar bar number so you can change that by clicking here click here we have to select wall or here clear wall it's clear then add common bar set from according to your code you can add here suppose si okay it's showing si i mean in millimeter percent in millimeter okay otherwise you can also clear that also from here you can use us canadian us soft matrix australian okay. so i am going to select si millimeter so click ok it's a change so from here you are seeing that it's showing first of all from here you have to select number of river layer number of river layer um, here it's showing 203.2 millimeter as you consider our thickness in 18 that's why it's convert to millimeter as we have select our unit in SI in our previous video so from here number of river layer I mean uh, we'll select for one layer here or two layer so we'll select two layer river and after that here there have positive three axis side and negative three axis side so if you select here it will show you uh, the red one oh, sorry I don't know about the color so I'm considering the red on and blue one so it's showing that the blue one are main reinforcement and that are I mean the blue one are from here if we select here according to section 1 3 I mean this is the one section 1 and 3 so if we cut from that section according to 1 we'll get that cross section so from here they have another option so from here we have to select positive 3 axis bar direction 1 suppose we are selecting that our bar size is 16 millimeter and positive 3 axis bar in direction 2 for direction 2 I mean uh, the direction 1 are representing the blue line and representing 2 are uh, representing the red line red river so if we select 10 it's showing that it's being very low if we select more it's showing it's more so also we'll select 16 also we'll select 16 into 16 otherwise we can change that if it is need so after that okay, everything is done then press ok and again press ok then again ok then again ok so we have defined our section as a double layer then click here so here share all design sorry uh, before that we have to analyze our model so it's going to analyze our model so extra for some time
our model are analyzing taking time okay our building has analyzed okay done now we'll go here share all and before that view or revise preference so we'll select a CI code okay you can select uh, any code you want reverse selection from here you can select the maximum and minimum bar size so from here vertical bar confinement zone from here you can select as we have select 16 so we'll select here all 16 preferred corner join bar also 16 16 here transbar unconfined zone that's for confined zone and that's for unconfined zone 16 16 16 you can uh, make it low that's not fact but previously we have defined that that's why I'm going to select that 16 transverse bar 16 and 16 so here preferred bar arrangement state and transfer bars for confinement hope okay then press ok after that go here there is the reverse selection rule for pi r and a reverse selection rule for a span drawer but we are not going for that then here define general we are not going to do that after that we will go here design combination so we are seeing that they have no design combination for share all that's why we'll go here d5 load combination add and from here concrete share all design okay it's also pretty six wall design code then press ok i can go here here and here you're seeing that it's here and uh, if it if it if it is not available here, if you see that it's here, then you have to select wall and press here. Then okay. So after that, we'll go here. Start design or check. So we press here. It's checking design for our wall pair. And after that, we'll see that is it okay or not for our design criteria. It's taking or designing wall pair. Okay, it's okay, and uh, here it's showing the requirement of reinforcement in diameter. I mean, uh, reinforcing areas in millimeter square. So after that, we have to go here. We have to go here. And from here, 
we'll go here display design info from here we have to do something so we'll first of all we'll go for pyr dc ratio press apply then ok so this value here that value should be less than 1 that value should be less than 1 so here we're seeing that for everywhere that value are less than 1 for everywhere it's showing it's less than 1 so in this way our session is okay after that again we'll go here design info and we'll go pm failure here here identify pm failure so click and apply it's okay also for that I can go here identify share failure no failure via share enforcement it's fire share enforcing so according to our design our share or design are also okay in that way we can design our share all and in our next video I'll show you about detailing of that Thank you. Thank you very much. Stay well and stay connected to the next video.